The next procedure is to remove the inner bearing and oil seal. Support the hub with the bearing end downward. Then select a suitable soft steel drift. Hammer against the cup edge, keeping the drift as straight as possible and working through the slots or cutaways within the hub. Knock both cup and seal out together on the inner bearing. An alternative stripping method is to prise the oil seal out of the housing and remove the inner cone. However, this method will completely destroy the seal. Of course, the cup will still have to be knocked out from its mounting. After stripping, clean all the removed parts in order that they may be fully inspected. Clean the stub axle and surrounding area as well. As a general rule, the bearings should be renewed on every overhaul. With tapered bearings, you must always replace both cup and cone at the same time. Never run a new cone on the old cup or vice versa. Next, inspect the hub mounting shoulder surfaces. They should be clean and free of high spots or burrs. Carefully dress down any imperfections with a deburring tool or file. Do not try to dress up the mounting surfaces, as this will enlarge the bore and cause the cup to rotate. Next, inspect the retainer washer and nut if so equipped. Check for scoring or cracking on the retainer and for damage to the threads in the nut. Renew any damaged item. Oil seals are not normally reused. A new seal should be fitted in the normal course of events. The stub axle should next be inspected. Check the condition of the shaft for such problems as scoring at the seal land and also at the bearing support areas. If these areas are damaged, then a new or reconditioned stub axle should be installed. Check the condition of the threads using the nut. The nut should turn smoothly onto the threads. Damaged threads on the axle can often be dressed up using a suitable thread chasing tool. After the practical pause, you will learn about the basic assembly procedure.